Um, hey guys, I gotta change this real quick. Um, so basically, uh, Compound Media has taken down a few videos, uh, both of my Ant and Artie ones got taken down uh, yesterday. I woke up to to the the Joe Matteries call in. Uh, that one was taken down too. So basically, what's happening is uh, I've appealed them, falling under fair use. They're saying because the show's behind a paywall, it doesn't fall under fair use, which. I mean that argument then couldn't movies say that too do you, do you see what I'm saying so I don't I mean we'll see if it holds up it's not gonna be worth taking me to court over in my opinion for a fucking 30 second clip I don't even care that much I just want my copyright strikes down like that's that's to me what it's about but so that starts going on and then I, I tweeted Brother Joe talking about the People's Court shit, saying that he lied on TV under oath, which he did. He has racist tweets where he says the N-word. He had a shitload of them up. And people on the ONA subreddit started sending them to clubs, being like, don't book this guy, he's a dickhead. He's a racist. And that's when he started deleting him. But you guys know how the internet works. The shit never goes away. You tweet something, it's there forever. Like, uh, so... Shit. Sorry, one second. I just gotta... Okay. So, here's, uh... The copyright claim and so this person went through found my video and submitted it and they also did it on the one where I talk about Artie's nose bleeding um, here's the email so now I got two strikes so uh, I'm really on thin ice right now until these get figured out so I mean I'm going to be really careful about what I post now I don't know what I'm going to be able to post so sorry about that if there aren't going to be as many videos right now I mean I was kind of getting in a groove too which sucks but uh, you know if anything I may, maybe I'll start posting on a different site I'll let you guys know in a, a video um, so here is just an example of these deleted tweets let me show you my tweet to Joe, first of all. So here's his fucking Twitter. Uh, 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 here we go. It's this one. He goes, not my Twitter account. So this wasn't his Twitter account. Joseph Cumia. I th he thinks maybe that because he changed his picture and name, no one's going to notice it's the same Twitter handle. I remember seeing some linking this, someone linking this and reading this fucking post. So whatever, not my, I, I, you know, it's an image. He could fight that it's doctored, sure. So I go, it's the exact same username, Joe. You shouldn't have gone on people's court. You couldn't have made yourself look worse. And then he goes, let's sit down with the nice folks you emailed and have a discussion. He's talking about Compound Media, because I emailed Allie, the girl who sent me the copyright claim, uh, saying, I, this falls under fair use, are you going to take it down, or do I have to appeal it? She said, we're under a paywall, it doesn't fall under fair use, so I appealed it. Love to hear your proof on my white supremacy and Anthony's pedophilia. And so I thought this was funny in that, in the episode yesterday, he just kept talking about, he brought up pedophilia four times. The judge never said anything about it. No one ever said anything about it. So, you know, I said, why you keep bringing up Miss a pedophilia? This is, this is the, hey, thanks for the sub. Uh, 
this is the first tweet he sent me. You're a jealous failed musician. You're on the verge of getting your stupid millennial ass in deep legal shit. I guess may, maybe, I don't know if he's talking about uh, me talking to him or about compound media. Um, you know, and it, go ahead, take me to court. I'm a, H3, H3 just won a case like this. It's clear commentary. I'm not just posting the, the show for free on YouTube. And not only that, the clips I did post... I had I had I had an uh, uh, overlay over it with the website subscribe to ANA at compoundmedia.com. I had a link in my description compoundmedia.com. If anything that was free advertising. So I'm go ahead take me to court. I I I'm, I'm not worried about that. I know the sub has my back. I know my lawyers will be paid for. And I didn't break the law, so I'm not really worried about it. And then I told him my band had our own songs. We didn't ride the coattails like he rides his brother's coattails. He gets his allowance. It's really, really despicable. I, and the fact he thought he, he was like gloating, thinking he came off good on that people's court appearance. And then after that, he's tweeting nudes of the judge talking shit about her. This this guy's just such a piece of shit. I, Joe, you're going to sue me for linking your deleted racist tweets. You and me both know you tweeted those things. I'm not afraid of you. He did. I. Here we go. What's the third fucking thing down I see? And this is archive.is. You guys can all go check it out. It's. It's a real site. Here, let's, let's try it. I'll make a tweet and then I'll delete it. Or let's see. I'll delete a tweet here under my timeline. Let me make sure it takes a picture of it first. Save the page. Joe, you really just don't understand how computers work. The internet, once it's up there, it's up there forever. So here we go. Joe, apparently the N-word defied description. Any race who would smash a 60-year-old man head in the pavement is a... Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's so retarded. He's trying to defend his use of saying the word. I would have called a white guy that if he did it too. Nig compoop. Now, let's see. I haven't gone through all these yet. Oh, here's one I know. Oh, no, it's not that one. I mean, I'll link this in the description. You guys can go check it out yourself. I, I don't really, I don't even want to harp on this. I do have them. Uh, so. This is the one that he has. Here we go, this one. Just another one. I'm. A, I don't. I don't even need to commentate on it. Like everyone, he's a racist, dude. <laughs> like, just own it at this point, man. And that, of course, he has to lie on TV, because no one's gonna book his band now. All right, that's about all I wanted to say. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll get back to you guys if anything updates here. you of writing emails to V Meadowlands. Oh, so he's saying I wrote the emails that didn't get him booked. I didn't, but sure, whatever. Because I'm jealous. I'm jealous of his cover man. No, no real musician is ever jealous of a cover band. They're jokes. Every fucking musician I know, we look at cover bands as jokes. And that's like a cop-out. 
that means you're not creative, creative enough to make it on your own. I'd rather not play music than play in a cover band. It's the only, it's the only skill he has. I get it. Sure. We all saw how his, uh, him trying to do Anthony's job went, which there was a bunch of racist fucking shit on that too. All right. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have a follow-up video soon.